to join my colleague Johan now who is in Stockholm with creative director Frederick Ost from digital agency NASC. Hey I hear the voice of a preacher from the back room calling my name and I follow just to find you I trace the faith through a broken down television I want to get better Thanks, Aona. Today I'm sitting with uh, creative uh, director Frederick Ost from the uh, agency SNASK. Actually, I've been here before you, as uh, our Swedish viewers may uh, recognize. We've been here and talking about creative entrepreneurship. Yep, yep. Yeah. And uh, thanks for having us back. No problem, you're always welcome. Today we're going to be talking about um, your favorite creative cloud tools as well as you're going to give us uh, some insights into how you use these tools and, f and your favorite features, you know, Snack's fa favorite features, to create the uh, amazing project for Malmo Festival. Yep, and uh, the Malmo Festival was actually a project where we turned a poster uh, into actual physical area that was standing physically on, in Malmo, city of Malmo, for eight consecutive days in August 2014. So should we go ahead and yeah. start? Yeah, let's I go. guess we can follow, follow the process of what we did. Yeah. Uh, uh, basically, we used Illustrator. And uh, what we really like about Illustrator, of course, is vectors. That's like, it goes without saying. Mm -hmm. uh, but we really like the feature that, that you are able to draw up precise models because everything is built on mathematics. Mm -hmm. So I mean, uh, an M could be like 10 centimeters, so it could be you many meters. Uh, so we basically, uh, that's a really good feature when we do things by hand, to be able to plan it, sketch it, and do everything from the beginning. Even using like other type of typefaces, you can just vectorize them and make them scalable in the right size. I think another feature that we like is be able to, to outline logotypes or whatever, just to make clients not to fiddle too much with our design, I guess. Um, so after, after uh, using the vectors, we take it into Cinema 4D, where we build it up because we have to be 30 meters above uh, and to be able to calculate if it's 15 meters or 30 meters because the angle cuts off the actual typeface. Yeah. Uh, we, we had to take it eye into Cinema 4D, so we just took the sketch from Illustrator into Cinema 4D, built up the height of the letters, mm -hmm. and then we could see from what angle we had to be. So we had to go up 30 meters in the crane, and both me and Jens are scared of heights, so that was a very, <laughs> very interesting thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there we went into Photoshop, and uh, in Photoshop, we basically do everything. We clean it up, we make sure it's, it's ready. And I, th I guess that one of the favorite uh, tools in this one is merging layers. Yeah. <laughs> and it's because clients shouldn't fill with it too much. Uh, so we kind of like that. Also, of course, you can make mock-ups uh, and build, build by hand later. So mm -hmm. that's also one of the features that we like a lot. Um, and an uh, uh, anecdote about this project is it stood for eight consecutive days uh, and uh, a kid actually got stuck in one of our topography. Uh, <laughs> so you could say that children uh, got into our graphic design very much at this festival. That's something good, as you can see on the photo here. He's awesome. very uh, happy, I would say. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, 
that's it. Thanks very much. Uh, I think um, people can be very uh, uh, surprised to see a project like this one and look at it at the first instance. And uh, the first thing they would say is, oh, that was made in 3D. Mm -hmm. But it, it looks like, you know, this is, you guys have been using Photoshop, Illustrator, and uh, you said Cinema 4D, but it was just used as to make your jobs easier to, you know, for yeah, going to calculate. From, calculate. Yeah. But, um, it's not used for design. No, no one wants to design in 3D. It's, it's, it's just horrible. But this is amazing. I mean, it's a great project. It's a very cool project. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And, and, I, and I want to add to everyone who says that 3D is, uh, you could make this in 3D. You can, but you can't place it out in the real life. Because oh, yeah. then you would have to do something else. So, so, so this was basically built uh, from, uh, you know, a, a from vectors, basically. From vectors. Yeah. And then, you know, you took it in real life over to 3D uh, objects, and uh, which, which people can sit on and, uh, uh, you know, exactly. have, a, uh, have what we call in Sweden a fika, a, a fika, fika break. <laughs> Coffee and buns, cinnamon yeah. buns would be preferred. Uh, <laughs> and uh, hopefully five days, a t five times a day, if yeah. my mom can decide. <laughs> uh, also, what's interesting is that we could send uh, the files from Illustrator mm. straight into a machine that cut out wood. Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, it's, so we knew that it would be precise, exactly that design that would come out yeah. in the end. Awesome. Well, thanks very much, guys. And um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Of a preacher from the back world Call him my name and I follow just to find you I trace the face